Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today I've got an unboxing for you of some Tea Pigs tea. Um, I placed a new order to stock up on some of my favourites. If you've not heard of Tea Pigs tea before, they are actually a British tea brand uh, based in the UK, but they do actually now ship all over the world. So if you like the look of this, I will put the link under the video in case you want to order some tea yourself. Um, so like I said, I'm mainly stocking up on my favourites, although I have also ordered one or two teas that I haven't actually tried before. So I'll show you what's in the box and I've also got some of the actual tea bags themselves to show you so you can kind of see what they look like up close. Um, so I've got a sweet ginger tea, um, which I've got a tea bag of, I'll show you in just a moment. Um, and it's big in ginger flavour, loaded with sweetness and full of spice. Um, Tea pigs do have loose leaf tea also, but they're kind of known for their really good quality tea bags um, in which they use, you know, a lot of the really good parts of the tea rather than just kind of dust or as you get with some kind of tea bags. Um, so this is the sweet ginger tea bag that you can see there. And you can see there's some rather large pieces of ginger and what have you in there. And this is just like a really nice ginger taste but because it's quite um, sweet, it's quite well balanced and you don't kind of get the kind of shock of ginger that you get with some teas. It's a really nice tea. And as you can see, there's like a mesh tea bag. So a really good quality one. And they have a little square on the string, which I like. They come kind of stuck together like that, but obviously you just pull them apart when you make them. But I like that. It makes it feel a little bit more luxurious when you have a little tag on there, I think. So, moving on, um, I'll ask you in a minute which one you think is my favourite tea because I've got quite a lot of one particular type. Uh, this is their rhubarb and ginger, again more ginger but balanced with the rhubarb. Um, and this is give us rhubarb and give us ginger then we put them in a tea temple and here we have it, a super wow zesty rhubarb with a sweet ginger kick. It is really nice and you really can taste the kind of rhubarb flavour there. So it's a bit more kind of unusual than some teas. And I think it looks really pretty because you can just see amongst all the ginger that you've got the little pink kind of rhubarb bits in there as well. And again, you've got a really good quality mesh tea bag and a little tag and string on there as well. Um, and then these, this is a tea I've not actually tried before, is their apple and cinnamon blend. They do so many different blends, honestly, it's really hard to try them all. Although they do have a little pick and mix set that you can get with little mini boxes. You get like two tea bags per box and you can try all of them that way, I guess. I've always gone for the big boxes and kind of taken the risk because they're always pretty good. Um, so, nothing beats the flavour of sweet juicy apple with punchy cinnamon spice. Sounds good to me. I like apple and I like cinnamon and you can just kind of see in there the little bags get a bit of reflection. You've got little greeny bits there and the browny bits of the cinnamon, I guess. So I will give them a whirl and see what they taste like. Another new one that I've not tried before is the Rubos Creme Caramel. Um, I'm never quite sure with Rubos. Sometimes I find it a little bit too sweet for me personally. Um, but I'm going to give them a go because... I like the picture of the cow on the front. No, it just sounds like something that's going to be quite tasty, hopefully, to me. So, the chunks of caramel make it sweet, rich, comforting drink to rival any scrumptious dessert, but a cup contains two calories. That is one good thing about um, the teas. And mainly the reason I did try, uh, I did order, sorry, the Rubos Creme Caramel is because my absolute favourite tea, which is coming up in just a moment, um, is actually a really sweet tea and it's like a nice alternative to having loads and loads of hot chocolates which wouldn't be too good for you so um it's good just to have these little teas uh, and they kind of they just kind of give you that real hit of as if you've had something naughty but it's actually quite good for you um, and you can just see the little powdered bits and bobs in there not powdered <laughs> little bits and bobs in there and um, so finally i did say you've got to guess which one is my favorite and you can see here there's actually six boxes of them in this order this is my absolute favorite tea now i've always been a big peppermint lover tea wise um and this is chocolate mint now if you're from the uk you might be familiar with like a mint chocolate arrow that's exactly what this tastes like now I found, it says on the back here to brew for three to five minutes, but I think with this, it's actually better if you brew it for about five minutes or so, rather than just three minutes, because it gives you more of the kind of chocolatey flavor that's in it. It's not cyclity at all, cyclic even at all, it's absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, yep, see, mint chocolate chip ice cream, after dinner, minty dark chocolates. It really is a gorgeous, gorgeous taste. It's my absolute favourite tea of all time, in, a, in actual fact. And it really does taste like that kind of ice creamy, chocolatey taste. Um, I have actually got one of these tea bags here, just to show you if you can see. It's like a funny mix of colours. So you've got the little flecks of chocolate there, and then you've got the peppermint also. It really is absolutely delicious. Um, and I mean, peppermint's pretty good for you anyway, and you balance it out with the chocolate. Again, not many calories or anything in there, and it's just incredible. It's like having a mint hot chocolate, but again, without feeling really bad that you've had loads of hot chocolate and stuff like that. Not that hot chocolate is bad every now and again, you know. Um, and also, they tend to put like a sample of a tea bag in there too. And in this box, I've got the peppermint leaves tea, which is the very first tea that I tried by Tea Pigs, and made me want to try even more. I've actually got one of those that I'll show you as well. I already have the peppermint leaves because it was one of my original favourites. I've got one of their tins here, actually. It's just a card telling you about their range. Let's have a see. I'll have a look at that in a minute, actually. So if you can just see here, these are the tea pigs. Um, and they're just like the peppermint leaves, but obviously without the chocolate flecks because this is just peppermint. And it's a really delicious peppermint tea. So they also do tins as well and things like that to keep your tea in. So let's look at the tea menu and I'll give you a quick idea of the different flavours they do. So you've got Everyday Brew, which is kind of like an English breakfast, uh, Earl Grey Strong, Darjeeling Earl Grey Darjeeling Tea, Chai Tea and Chili Chai. I've tried both of them, they're both delicious. Uh, chocolate Flake Tea and Mayo Feng Green Tea. Haven't tried that one, but I do like green tea, so I probably would like it. Green Tea with Mint, nice. Popcorn Tea. Not quite for me, but I'm sure some people would love it. Jasmine Pearls, haven't really tried that yet. Silver Tips White Tea. Chamomile Flowers, another of my favourites actually, but I didn't need to stock up on that this time. Uh, peppermint Leaves, Pure Lemongrass, really, really nice. Uh, super Fruit, very fruity and lovely. Licorice and Mint, I haven't actually tried that. Yerba Mate, which is supposed to be really good for kind of detoxing that kind of thing, haven't tried that, but it's supposed to have quite a bitter taste, but be very good for, like I said, for detoxing. Lemon and ginger is pretty decent, pretty nice, we like that one. Um, apple and cinnamon, again, one of these I've got to try. Um, chocolate and mint, absolutely delicious, <laughs> hence the six boxes I've just bought. Fennel and licorice, rhubarb and ginger, which I've also got, another one I like. Sweet ginger, another one I like also. And you can see on the back, we've got all the different boxes and stuff there. Oh, we're still going, sorry. <laughs> uh, Tung Ting Oolong Tea, Honeybush and Rubos, Rubos Creme Caramel, one of the ones I've got to try, and the Spiced Winter Red Tea. Very, very Christmassy. Um, I've had that before and it's quite nice too. And they also do some of the matcha um, powders as well. So that is the Tea Pigs range. I would definitely recommend you try it out if you like your different teas. This is a brilliant company um, and great products to try. Thank you for watching. I'd like it if you'd like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Then you wouldn't miss any of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.